Welcome to Coffee by the Campfire. Today we're going to talk about one of our favourite subjects in life. Coffee. Yep, that's the one, coffee. And so we've been looking at some of the best ways to make coffee. Uh, best ways in terms of getting good tasting coffee and not compromising too much on how heavy things are and also the practicality. So I thought it would be a good one to bring to you guys is what is out there if you want to have really good coffee whilst you're outside. Yeah. So we'll start by giving you a breakdown of what we use to grind our coffee beans. So this is the Java Mill by GSI. They make some really cool outdoors kit. We've got um, a set by them for mainly for car camping, um, but it works super well. The, the Java Mill, you can pick up all over the place online. Um, we can put a link in below for sort of Amazon if you want. I think that's where I bought it from. We've had it for quite a while now. It has ceramic. Um, grinder blades as well so it does give you a pretty good even grind on there and yeah it's really simple Megs has just shown you now you just fill the top up with beans if you fill it up with beans it's about enough for two cups of coffee so it's kind of perfect and then you just yeah pop the top closed and then inside if you just show them when you open the bottom obviously this is where your grounds get caught so that you can then pour them into whatever you're going to use to make the coffee there's a little twist there, and like most coffee grinders, hand coffee grinders, you can change that twist to set how, how coarse or fine the grind is. Um, so at the moment it's quite coarse because we've, we're going to use a cafetiere. So you can set it like that <clears throat> and we'll show, you, we'll show you how that is basically. Grind away. So we'll stick our water over here on the warm poles hopefully. Boom. And that is all of our beans ground. Got to be a little bit careful taking that off if it's really full. Yeah, it's pretty full. Yeah. The coffee grounds. That's the definition of freshly ground coffee. Um, so it depends on how much weight you want to take with you. We'll put in the weights of everything on the video so that you can see what kind of different weights there are to consider. Uh, generally, if we're lightweight backpacking or out mountaineering, we won't take a coffee grinder. We'll pre-grind the coffee at home and put it in a Ziploc bag, or you can buy ground coffee if you prefer, um, because that's just one of those things that's like, it's lovely to have if you are, so we're doing sort of a bushcraft camp, um, and then it's great to have that with you because it's really nice when you're chilling out to actually freshly grind your coffee. You get so much more flavour. Yeah, and it it's smells just, it's so It's kind of nice to do. Like Making coffee is quite a nice process as well. Mm. Um, but yeah, that might be one you want to consider. We use it at home as well every day. Oh yeah. Literally, that is our, co our actual coffee grinder. We bought it for camping. So good. We use it in the kitchen for all of our coffee grinding. Mm -hmm. And it, it's pretty quick. You know, Once you get used to it, it's like a little mini morning workout. Yeah, if you're cold <laughs> in the outdoors as well, it's a great way to warm up. Yeah. Um, don't want to get out of your sleeping bag, then just start grinding coffee. Yeah, okay. So next thing is, where's the top tip? The top tip behind me because we used it this morning already. So this one is Snow Peak, um, and it is the Snow Peak Titanium. Yeah, it, it, you can buy it, I think you can buy it individually. We'll, we'll put links in. I bought it as a kit, which was the Cafe Snow Peak Cafe Latte kit. But it's basically the Snow Peak Titanium Cafetiere, um, or French press, depending on how you want to, how you want to, you know, uh, use the words, how you want to call it. I'm losing my ability here. So you just chuck that in. So that'll be enough for two, two cups. And then, like any cafetiere, we're gonna, once the water's boiled, pour the water in and use the plunger. We'll, we'll put the plunger on, give it about two minutes to brew. And then once it's brewed, we're gonna slowly push the plunger down so that we don't get too many bits flowing over the edge. And then you've got your coffee done and dusted. And then you can add whatever you want depending on how you take it. Um, this is really lightweight. We have actually taken this like hiking and even mountaineering and stuff before, depending uh, how, how much you're committed to ultralight. Um, it, uh, it does you know, add a little bit of extra bulk, but it is really nice coffee and it's really easy and you can do two coffees at once, which is great. And because it's titanium, obviously you can also use the jug for boiling water. So you can just put that straight onto a gas burner or, um, or a fire. It's quite narrow, so you just have to be aware of that if you're using it on a gas uh, canister stove. 
but yeah it's, it's really good the plunger is all like silicon and metal never changed anything or have to do anything to it just wash it out and use it so now I'm just gonna add our water to the coffee and this cafetiere takes about 650 mils something like that I want to say 0.5 well it says it's got markings that's half a litre so maybe like 600 milliliters in there fill it up pretty much to the top and then what I would normally do is take a spoon or clean a piece of wood and give it a little stir before I put the top on. I'm gonna add that water to mm -hmm. Megan's whittling. It smells good. That was really good. Mm. Mm. Seems like expressive like Get that top on. I'm not going to plunge it all the way because I want it to brew. And that's it. Now we just let it sit somewhere. I don't want it to sit. It's good, right? It's fine. A bit of extra warmth. Titanium loses a lot of heat, so be aware if you leave it for too long, you'll come back and it'll be cold. All right. Time to take the plunge. And then you just very slowly, I mean, you can do it as quickly as you want, but the slower you do it, the less chance that you're gonna have ground coffee jumping over the plunger and ending up in what you're gonna pour into your cup. So if you've got the time, be patient. Good things come to those. You go out and get them. You ruined it. I was gonna wait and then say, wait, I can't believe it. <laughs> Give me a cup, let's have some coffee. A beautiful cup of coffee. Ooh, yeah. So that's the coffee poured, done and dusted. Snow Peak Cafetiere, Titanium Cafetiere, and we, uh, we used the Java Mill to grind it up, the GSI Java Mill. So, now we're going to enjoy our coffee before we move on to the next way to make coffee in the outdoors. Drinks up. <laughs> this is the next step, or the next way rather, to make coffee that we're going to show you. So the last one we did was the Snow Peak Titanium Cafetiere. And this one, it all nests together really nicely, and it's pretty small, it's GSI and it's a drip system. I'll put the name in below because I've gone a bit blank on it. I'll, uh, I'll put it in and we'll put a link as well. Um, I just got this one. This is the first, this is literally going to be the first time I'm making coffee with it. Never used it before. I like that it packed away nice and small and that it can fit inside some cups. Not all cups, so you'd have to double check the sizing. Um, but yeah, it kind of nests away quite nicely. It's all plastic and stainless steel. Weight wise, it's pretty light but you basically have this bit here which has these three little prongs which are going to rest on the sides of the mug and you fold those out and then you take that and you pour your coffee ground Megan's kindly ground me some coffee here's some we made earlier yeah Please. progress on the spoon by the way it's looking pretty good and then I believe you kind of fill that up pretty much. That's so the coffee ground goes in this little blue bit. And then this top bit, which is where you pour the water, just pushes on top to create like a secure fit. And then I might get Megan to stand up a second. <laughs> and then it just rests on the sides of the mug like that and then hopefully yeah this water's still hot and covered in fire the great thing about this as well is you don't need to carry filter papers with you yeah it's what one thing i really liked about it is it's just it's like a little self-contained entity 
I hope I'm not blocking it here. I'll move behind it. Um, yeah, you don't need to replace anything on it. It's just ready to go anytime you want. Um, and all you do is rinse out the bit, chuck out the coffee ground once it's used and rinse that out. Or I mean really, you know, you could probably not rinse it out if you're just using it for a few days and then rinse it out when you get home. And then it's good to go. Nice, it seems to regulate the speed of the pour pretty well. I'll be interested to see what the flavor of the coffee is like. I imagine it's going to be good, right? I mean, yeah, I mean, I ground it quite coarse, so maybe yeah. it'll be a little bit weaker. Than, it might be a little bit weaker than what yeah. we'd want. I mean, you'd probably go for like a medium grind yeah. on this kind of system, like although we've never used this one before, so you don't know. Not too fine, you don't want it no. too fine, but that's we've gone, um, kept it out the grind we used for the French Pest Cafetiere, and so this you probably want a little bit finer, maybe. Coming and blocking your view here. Got to keep this fire going. Hmm. Good. Doesn't have any of the bits in it either for that you get with the French pest, which oh. is nice. No. Um, it's definitely weaker, so you definitely need the ground to be a little bit finer, but still good coffee. Oh, I like that. Mm. That's nice. Sometimes I like a weaker coffee if it's not the morning. I like strong coffee in the morning, and then sometimes later on in the day, if you're a regular coffee drinker, then. Oh, that fire's going some. Yeah, just, it's such a good bed of coals. Oops, caught it. Cat like reaction. Jedi speed. Cool. So that was the GSI filter thingy. Yeah. Um, and the next one. This little bad boy. We'll put all the details of what it is down there for you. It's definitely a good one. From memory, I think it's pretty cheap as well. Compared to the titanium ones or anything made by Snow Peak, which I think the other ones are, it's a lot cheaper. Obviously, you can always just get sachet coffee if you want. This is not like us forcing you to drink coffee this way, but... It is. I'm pretty sure there are going to be some coffee people out there. The world's filled with them these days. That's a good cup of coffee. Give me some more. So that's coffee making system number two. Mmm. On smoke three. Cool. So, whilst Megan reaches for that boiling water in the fire, I'll tell you about the next way of making coffee is using coffee filter paper or any sort of coffee filter and this is snow peaks folding coffee drip and yeah or coffee filter holder it folds flat so very packable see. yeah it's really small it's stainless steel so it's really tough but makes it slightly heavier put the weight in here for you obviously and a link it's good it's really good. I mean, as, as filter holders go, I mean, we use this one at home too sometimes. Yeah. Because um, it works really, really well and it fits on loads of different types of mugs. Once it's folded out like that, then you just put it on a mug. You can fit it on pretty much any kind of mug because there's loads of real estate on these legs. So it really is that easy. I've pre-added coffee mate and sugar to this one. And then all you do is... You can leave the spoon in, but hey, we'll take it out. Put that there, take your coffee felt, uh, your felt paper, do your thing. I just fold it along two edges like most people do. Create it like a cone. Got coffee in here. And then, just kind of pour nice and continuous and even with any pour over system you kind of want to go for a nice even pour and circulate around the coffee oh there's one leg keep going give me more the only really annoying things about paper filters in the outdoors is obviously you need to keep them dry which is always annoying because they can get damp really easily. So you'd be better off buying like a reusable cotton one or something. Um, and if they split because of the fact that they have gotten damp or something, then it instantly ruins your whole cup of coffee that you've 
To be fair, that's happened to me at home multiple times and I get very frustrated with it. Yeah, it is annoying. Paper filters are not ideal, really. And there you go. Once it's done dripping, you can just lift your used filter paper out and I'm going to put it in the dustbin that I've got over here. And then this is pretty much still clean. You just fold it up and that is it. Snow Peak folding coffee filter drip thing. It's pretty cool. I like that it packs flat. I'd say none of the systems are perfect, but they all have their strengths. I'm always looking for just the, exactly the right one. But it's good. I think it's good for you guys to see what's out there because I think if you're like me and you've looked, maybe you want an opinion on how they work and see a little bit about them. They all work well. They're all good in their own respect. You just have to weigh up weight, what kind of coffee you want. I reckon the Cafetiere French Press is the one that we use the most. At the end of the this day, one. it's a luxury item. It is a luxury item, yeah. You can't always justify taking it with you. So okay. you've got those. <laughs> Between two people, you often can, more likely. And then you've got that. So you've got your three options here. These two are both by Snow Peak. Like, literally no brand. Of, I wish I had some sort of brand affiliation. They make some awesome product. Um, that's that one. Really, really nice. Great weight what it is and you got this which you need your copper filters for and then you got this new one that we've just used for the first time this GSI system that actually is good I like that I'd probably take that over having to take paper filters and also the size of this although it's like circular it's still smaller than that folded flat I'm gonna enjoy my cup of coffee it's quite smoky there yeah an illusion like a really shit magician <laughs> and he's if by magic fire you've probably got some smoke going on there but thank you for watching appreciate it please any questions about coffee making coffee outdoors any of the kit we've used any other question just questions ask us some questions show us some love if you're not subscribed please do subscribe check us out on instagram at outdoor intrigue um, we're regularly posting pictures up for both in top photography and try and get some good images, whatever we're doing. And yeah, we'd really appreciate it. We'd like being a part of the, the whole community. Um, and hopefully we've helped you to choose, potentially choose a cool way to make coffee in the outdoors. So yeah, until next time by the campfire, we'll see you later. Bye.